All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word of Edify video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth, according to the Bible, and have well. well. Inshallah, labachorium, wabarakium, shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashiwan Kwadash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of Joshua 24 and 14. Now, therefore, fear Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. That's who the word ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. That's their real names in the Lashiwan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And serve him with sincerity and in truth, right? So that's the first step. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah wants, him, wants us to first and foremost fear him, man. You know, we was going to this at camp yesterday. You got these wacky tacky Christians and you got these people that so-called believe in the scriptures. Always talking about loving the Lord, loving the Lord or love, love, love. What the Lord say, he wants us to fear him, man. You know, and then serve him with sincerity of heart. Okay. And in truth, man, that's going into serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, doing the works to the best of our ability. And also, first and foremost, breaking down the scriptures the right way. Teaching the 100% truth according to the Bible. When you fear the Lord, you're going to do that, right? It says, and put away of the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So the things that you admire over the Lord in the world, when you come to the truth, you got to put them away, man. You know? Like, 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 like the, the smoking cigarettes, man. Out of worshiping these gangbangers, you know, for the women. Out of worshiping these these thoughts, these whores, man. You know, you got to put all those away, man. You know, it could be money. You know what I'm saying? It could be anything that you reverent, you know, like, a, like, like Christ, you know what I mean? And Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, you know, those those gods and idols that you admire, that you reverent, all right, that you looked up to. You got to put those away, man. You got to serve and fear your how about Shimmy how shy and stay in order to the best of your abilities, right? Verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, right? And their choice ain't even yours. You had that rap group called uh, the Black Sheep. The choice is yours. Well, the choice is Yahweh by Shimmy how shies to make. All right. Because like it says in Romans 11 and the 7, you know, the reason why the majority of our people are blind is because the Lord blinded them, man. Just like the reason why we understand these scriptures and why we fear in the Lord, that was the Lord's doing, you know. So choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, a.k.a. the house of David, the elect, which we're hoping to pray that we be a part of that number, we will serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? Which is, that's our advantage, man. We serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We, we serve the true living power. Of course, temptations and tests and trials are going to come with that but if you got the creators of the heavens and the earth on your side what is there to fear man what is there to worry about what the lord giveth the lord can take it away and also the scripture says the lord is not going to put something on you that you can't bear so if the lord puts you in a situation that might seem a little minor or it might seem major the lord's like you can go through it come i put my spirit on you to go uh to go through it and also you got to uh pray to you how about you my shot for the strength to endure it so now let's go from there that was another precept yep 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 that's it um let me find my apocrypha salakia salakia matter of fact i got it on my tablet bear with me 
This is one of our favorites right here through the Spirit Power of Yah by Shem Shah. GMS Raleigh. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23, verse 27. If they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And we understand that, that now, as the Lord is protecting us, the Lord is protecting us at camp, the Lord is protecting us all throughout the day, every day, man. You know, but especially when all hell breaks loose, man, when they mandate the MOTB, which is the C hip, and during the time of Jacob's trouble, man, we're going to really appreciate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for allowing us to do his work and, and, and allowing us to maintain that fear in us to serve him to the best of our ability because now we get to sit back, you know, and be protected by the Lord, so to speak. You know, and watch everybody else suffer, man. All those that scoffed, that scorned, that came up against us, you know, it's going to be nothing but judgment being handed out, especially in those days, right? And we're going to, Lord's willing, we'll be able to witness it. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 23 and 27. In they that remain in the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, right, shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, because especially when all hell breaks through the scriptures, it's going to be constantly come flowing through our heads, man. You know? And once again, that's, we're definitely going to be appreciative and thankful, you know what I'm saying, that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah allowed us, you know what I mean, to understand these scriptures and apply these scriptures, you know, and to serve him, you know, while we still had time to, right? Because we're doing that, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to have protection. You know, and Lord's will, and we be a part of the elect that's going to lead to deliverance, salvation, get it be the battle ships, the so-called UFOs, right? It says, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So once, you know, you hear the word through the servants, the prophets, the, the elder, the elder apostles and the elder bishops of great millstone or down, you know, you take heed, you know what I'm saying? You hear it and you be a doer also. Because when you fear you have by Shemal Shah, that comes with actions, you know? As a matter of fact, hold on. Because I always mention that kind of through the spirit. Let me let me uh let me break out this quick precept. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. So the law, statutes, the commandments of the scriptures that we know that we can keep, we keep to the best of our abilities, man. All right? Because the Lord commanded us to do so. That's why Judges 5 and 11 says that we're going to rehearse the righteous acts in our captivity. Although we can't keep them perfectly, but the Lord says, you know, to, to rehearse them, you know? So that's what we do to the best of our abilities. That's why we observe the Sabbath. We observe the high holy days. We be men of the Lord throughout the week and not just on Saturdays, man. Why? Because we're constantly walking in the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, and the Lord is increasing, is increasing our understanding of these scriptures and applying more of these scriptures, right? And this is the book of Sirach 2 and 15. They, okay, aka the elect, that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. That's why the other group, that's how we know, we, that's how we know. The spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shah on the right hand side is not on these other groups, man, because they're not fearing the Lord. All right. The Lord is using them on the left hand side, you know what I'm saying, to uh gather the undesirable so they all can get destroyed together. But the hopeful elect that's in these other groups, Yahweh by Hashem Shah is gonna sift them up out of there and come to serve him to the to to um to serve him the right way to the best of their abilities, right? It says, and they that love him will keep his ways, right? The law, statutes, and commandments, which that proves that you love the Lord. That's the biblical definition of love according to the Bible is keeping the commandments, which is only given to the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right? Not the other heathen nations. That's according to the scriptures. Now, this is the book of Deuteronomy 10 and 12. It says, and now Israel was consisted of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. What do if the Lord thy power require, a.k.a. command, order of thee, but to fear 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the Lord thy power, and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Right? It's for our advantage, it's for our good, man. See, when you fear and serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you're gonna you're gonna um have a good name and the Lord is going to bless you. You're going to uh, prosper in, in, uh, in, a, in a way that you're supposed to be prosper, meaning the Lord is going to give you things that you need of contentment. You're going to have a roof over your head. You know, you're going to have food, water. You know, the Lord is going to take care of you. Although, you know, we ain't the richest, you know what I mean? But, hey, we don't want to be. All right, the Lord is dealing with the meat. The Lord is dealing with the humble, man. You know? So, hey, we're very content. We're very thankful. And we praise y'all by Shemar Shah for what we have, man. You know, spiritual and carnal things, right? That the Lord has blessed us and allowed us to have on this side. Our praise is to you, how by Shemar Shah, by Shemar Kapadash. Can't be thankful enough for the Lord, man. Let's see. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. You know, this is pretty much a part two. Of the lesson that uh, we, me and the brothers did. All right, it all starts with fear in the Lord. This is the book of Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge of the scriptures. But fools, the two thirds, the ones that lack comments, is the ones that don't fear the Lord, despise, which means to hate wisdom and instruction. You see? Why? Wow, because the Lord put the spirit on them to rebel. To have the hateful, to have the hate in their heart, to despise this word, so they won't get it, so they can be destroyed, man. Because listen, there ain't gonna be no excuse, okay? Everybody heard the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. you know. As a matter of fact, when it says uh, "but fools despise wisdom and instruction," right, which instruction goes into warning. This is a quick precept. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter six, verse twenty. She, which is wisdom. Is very unpleasant to the unlearned, right? To the two thirds, to those that don't fear the Lord, right? The ones that lack common sense. It says, He that is without understanding will not remain with her. You see, because it wasn't part of the elect. So even guys that once had this truth, all right, that was called upon in the right names and teaching the correct doctrines, and they got, uh, they, uh, they got out the truth. They fell out the truth. It was the Lord's doing, man. And that's a fearful thing. And then they became scoffers and scorners and teaching lies, man. Teaching false doctrines, you know. That was the spirit of Yahweh Bashim and Shah. The Lord did that, man. So that keeps us more in the fear of Yahweh Bashim and Shah. As a matter of fact, hold on. Because ultimately, that wasn't part of the elect, you know. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect because we're hoping and praying that we be a part of the elect, man. We don't want to face the judgment of the two-thirds of what they're going to get. This is the book of Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, which is going into his judgments. You know, which one of the judgments of the Lord that he does is um, take the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the scriptures from him. He takes those names. He takes away the fear, you know, and he, and he puts the spirit of pride on, 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 on Jake, man. You know, to have them bugged out, have them teach a false doctrines. That's that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's a plague of the mind. But it also goes into the judgment that we see on the news, okay, about the, 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 the storm deletions and people deleting each other, you know, car accidents and uh, um, different diseases and, and things of that nature, okay? All those are judgment and all those are fearful, all right? So therefore, that keeps us in line and serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the best of our abilities. That's why it all goes back to fear. That's where it starts. So, Lord's willing, this is edifying. I can go on and on and on to the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Yahweh about fearing the Lord, having that reverence, having that awe, you know, walking in, walking on eggshells, you know, in this truth, you know. But, Lord's willing, this is edifying, you know. I pray that this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Lord's one until next time. I say Shalom.